Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. Very cool spot indeed. Check this out, we are right on uh, right on the water quarry. Looks like the kind of place where you would just want to jump right off into the water. I'm not sure if it's a quarry, maybe it's just a lake. You know, what am I saying? I, you know, I'm looking at these sheer rock walls and I'm thinking must, it must be some kind of excavation that was done here and then filled up with water, but hell, I have no idea. But uh, to me, this looks like the kind of place, oh, yeah, look at this, like these little, these, someone was blasting for uh, granite or something over here. But uh, maybe this isn't the kind of place you want to swim. Maybe it is. It looks very tempting, but I, I'm, I'd just be worried that uh, there's some bad stuff in the water. So it's time for me to guess where I think this is. And uh, I don't know. Let's guess. Um, let's guess. Let's guess the Ukraine on this one. That seems like a fun thing to me. Uh, like just south of Kiev. Let's make the guess, and the answer was <laughs> boy, couldn't have been more wrong. It was um, good old Millbank. Millbank. South Dakota, Millbank, South Dakota, 788, 788, not, well, not that great amount of points, but um, there you go. Hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. And you might be looking at this and thinking, oh, wow, well, it's pretty obvious as to where this is going to be. And although it, chances are looking at it, it does narrow it down to a pretty small area. I, I do think that there is, uh, you know, if you, you go by uh, not just countries, but by smaller divisions within countries you can uh you know make this at least somewhat of a challenge i think uh and watch me tomorrow get this one completely wrong as i'm saying all sorts of stuff there but uh, hey i chose this one because it was just such a beautiful location today's daily challenge meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are all you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below tell me where in the world you think this is and in tomorrow's video's comment section i announce the winner the person that guesses closest now there are no prizes but there is glory to be one so if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser then tell me where in the world do you think we are right now all right here we are in the main section of today's video and today we have got a very cool challenge cool challenge all about the big one world war ii that is right this is the first part in what i'm assuming is a multi-part series of challenges on world war ii brought us by neo sylvanus Neo Sylvanus. Jesus, I forget what I used to call you or what I currently call you. I call you Neo Sylvanus, right? I think I do. Regardless, uh, thank you so much for this challenge all about World War II. Uh, this one is part one. This is 1938 to 1940. Pre war conquests slash early invasions, I believe, is what. Uh, you actually, I have it pulled up right here. Uh, because at the end, I'm going to find out. Uh, Pre-war conquests and initial invasions, Europe. So uh, that is going to be it. Uh, when I eventually, after the challenge, I'm going to get to actually find out about uh, a lot of these uh, by just scrolling down and finding out uh, about each location. So thank you so much, Neil Sylvanas, for this one. If you are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the all description below find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me also you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself so oh wow this isn't well i mean wow okay very interesting well first of all we've got so let's read that theme again here this is I don't know, maybe the mural is not actually part of the challenge. World War II, Part 1, 1938 to 1940. Europe. So this looks like, well, this looks like a war that is not World War II. I'll tell you that much. This looks like, well, you know, this could be... It all started... It all started when Germany invaded Poland. Right? Right? Is that how it all started? Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, this is going to be like the damn Apostles Challenge, isn't it going to be? But I think it's going to be even more embarrassing, because now it'll show my ignorance on a subject I really should know a lot about. Wow, this is really beautiful. So, I'm guessing that this is... Who are these people on the walls here? I, I don't know that either. We're in a beautiful museum. Well, I mean, it goes up to 1940s. Oh, okay. Um, Battle of... 
Mal Plaquette. Okay, so we're in France right now. Okay, well, that's good. So we are in France somewhere. 1940s. I mean, I guess so. Feels like we're skipping a, a little bit here, but uh, that's okay. You know, we're initially in France in this beautiful museum. I don't think there's a way out of this. But God, look at this. Man, I would like to go here. What kind of a room is this? That is really interesting. So we're in France, obviously Paris. And uh, unless we're in like Belgium or something like that, but I'm not going to guess that. And uh, I'll say this is part of the Louvre. Although I don't think it is. I think it's going to be part of like, uh, let's go to Versailles. And it's going to be part of like uh, the, the castles and stuff like that in Versailles. And the answer was, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Well, okay, just because there was French on the painting doesn't mean we're in France. Well, you know, it shows how much I know. Uh, but there you go. We were in Vienna. So, obviously, something happened there. The um, Germany invades Czechoslovakia. Is that all this area? Austro-Hungary. That's like World War One stuff. Czechoslovakia. Is that all this area? Oh, Lord. See the ignorance? You see this? Oh, boy. This is, is going to be... This is going to be... This is going to be the worst. All right. Well, sausages. There's a lot of countries we could be with some nice sausages. Um, but uh, there you go. So something happened there. But thankfully, Neil Sylvanus has been kind enough to actually give me some information about this. So I'm going to be able to read it and become a more learned man. I believe, just by looking at this, that we are in Poland. Although, I don't know. I feel like Poland is going to show up. Maybe it's because of what we're seeing here. Actually, no, the more I look at this, the more I feel like we're in Hungary, actually. Uh, so, there you go. Beautiful meats. Looks like a nice place. There you go. Some good, you know, deli meats and sausages and things like that. There's actually a pretty nice uh, Polish deli uh, near, well, sort of near where I live. And... Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, I think it's a Polish deli. Actually, it's uh, near uh, that place that uh, I'm in, uh, in the old, uh, that you can find me in Street View. There is a Polish deli, or at least I think it's a Polish deli. Hell, it might not be. Uh, but uh, there you go. Um, they have uh, all sorts of good stuff that uh, that they have there. Um, I like it quite a bit. If, if I'm hankering for a sausage... Yeah, that seemed a bit a uh, bit weird there, but yeah, I I I'd go there. I I like it quite a bit. They actually make uh, this really nice um, mixed sausage and potatoes type thing with uh, a lot of like uh, paprika in there, and it's very nice. I would not highly recommend it because honestly, it's really hit or miss. And there's a pretty nice Italian deli close by that I think is a much better deli than the Polish one uh, in terms of like the quality of the building itself like the establishment I feel is better run and cleaner and has higher quality food and is nicer uh, but uh, you know what the, the, the Polish one ain't bad and uh, you know it makes me feel that uh, if there was an even nicer Polish deli it could be uh, really great uh, again I don't actually know if it's a Polish deli uh, I just think it is it might not be I should really just ask the people that are there uh, but I mean that'd be a weird question right is this a Polish deli no this is just a deli oh so that's why I'm not gonna ask <laughs> but uh, there you go uh, what do we I think no I feel like you know they, they, they sell a lot of stuff from like Poland and you know this sort of area of the world over here is pretty well covered by uh, by that uh, by that deli. So the question is, where are we? I don't feel like we're in Poland. I feel like we are in. I said Hungary, right? Do I really feel like we're in Hungary? Maybe I feel like we're in. No, maybe I feel like we're in Hungary. All right, so let's guess we're around Budapest. You know, we were in Czech Republic. Damn it, Cheb. You should really, I should really start thinking of World War II, but again, all right, so that was uh, Czechoslovakia. Is Czechoslovakia just the Czech Republic and Slovakia, or did it include other countries? Oh, that, that's, how much I, that's how much I don't know. Yugoslavia. What was that? How big was that country? Oh, there's some good questions right there. Still don't know the answer to that. Was Austria involved? 
maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know the answer to that. See, a lot of ignorance here. 2385. Okay, now where are we? Now this looks like Hungary. <laughs> I, oh my god, this is the, <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst. Uh, but yeah, there you go. See, that's your other clue uh, as to um, as to where I am found in uh, Street View. You can find me in Street View. I think the clues were near a big 2017 banner, near where um, is uh, near where I think is a great place to get a late night hamburger, near where I would buy fresh produce, flowers, or maple syrup. And also, the last clue that was given today is it is also near what may or may not be a Polish deli. So there you go. Those are the clues. Eventually, you guys are going to find out where I am to be found in Street View. So there you go. The old 2017 sign, late night hamburger, uh, flowers, maple syrup, and fresh produce, as well as uh, the... Delhi. All right, where are we? Uh, yeah, the uh, as well as the old uh, yeah the the Polish deli. So what do we got here? Museum B Smetany. I gotta say, I still don't know where we are. Maybe. Oh boy. I I don't know. I really really don't know. There should be something that really helps me here. But this is re you know what actually I'm going to go with I'm going to go with this is Prague. Do I think this is Prague? Yeah, I do. I actually think that uh, we were just there and that uh, we were right here. And the answer is yes. Good. Uh 6374. All right. Bank BGZ. BGZ Bank. Okay. Well, that seems pretty nice. Still not too much of an idea as to where we are. But that's okay. I'd say I'd say Poland now makes a lot of sense. Does it? Maybe it maybe it doesn't. Oh boy. All right. Let's let's figure this one out. What do we got to sign here? This looks this looks like Polish to me. Yeah, this looks like Polish to me. So I think that's a good, I think that's a good guess. Is that restaurant called Asia Walk back there? Wow, look at this ice cream cone. Woo! All the way to the ceiling. Yeah, this, yeah, this looks like Polish to me. Good. There you go. So Poland, uh, apparently not that early on. Uh, or maybe it's not in chronological order. I don't know. Uh, but uh, there you go. You, you really see, um, was, uh, was Britain involved in the war at this point? Because I'm gonna blame it on uh, I'm gonna blame it on my education, uh, and say that uh, I just didn't learn about World War II until Britain's involvement. So I'm gonna say that that's it. And I feel like Britain only got involved when Germany invaded Poland. I feel like that's all, that's the time when uh, the UK was like, uh, you know what, this is is getting pretty fucked up here. Uh, so then they started sending uh, they started sending uh, I don't know what they did. Honestly, they you know my. High school is a long time ago here, folks, and uh, clearly I don't have a passion for World War II. I mean, it's it's, it's interesting. Maybe I should, really should. I feel like I would probably be interested in it. Maybe I should, like, read a book, like, books or something like that, because I feel there's a lot of really interesting stuff to learn. It was like a, it's one of the most interesting point, like, periods in, 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 in history, isn't it? And it's, like, really modern, too, so, like, there's a lot of information. It's not like... We're, like, piecing it together through, like, scraps that we're finding in, like, like dig sites. Like, I'm sure there's, like, a lot of, like, great, like, really interesting times th that happened in, the, like, the distant past. But, I mean, like, you know, the, the remnants of World War II still have, like, a, a very clear impact on the world today. So, it's, like, and it was in, like, sort of, it was in modern times, you know, modern record keeping and all that. So, a lot of this stuff is, like, known. We're definitely in Poland. I'll say that much. Uh, am I gonna find the forty-three? Well, I'm gonna guess we're pro uh, best. I'm gonna guess we're probably around here then. Uh, so, uh, what about this place? No, something smaller than that. 
what about uh, what about Rezepin? Uh, I think Rezepin's a good guess. And the answer was, oh, geez, pretty deep in there. All right, we were in w Wylan, uh, 2654. Well, Ab Abger Abgerfarin. Abgerfarin. That doesn't really help me know where we are uh, at all. But, uh, oh, we're entering France. Oh, geez. All right. So we're entering France, and what country did we, are we, do we just leave? So that's France. Yeah, okay. And what's this one? Well, so that's France over there. Then if that's France, then the other one is, okay, <clears throat> Which which is the one? Which is the one where they just plowed through Belgium? Is that in World War One? Ah, oh, oh Jesus! Oh boy, this is this is well. You know what? It's not as bad as the Apostles, but it's almost there. Almost as bad. So this is France, and in this in this direction is unknown. I feel like the so that's France. I'm gonna guess. Since I don't know that, I'm going to guess that um, that this is not Belgium. I'm going to guess that this is sort of like maybe around this area over here. Like up there, Sar Sarbuchen. Well, okay. Now this is where it gets kind of complicated. No, I'm going to guess that it's around over here. So let's make the guess, and the answer was yes. Did I read Sarbacken somewhere? Maybe I didn't, but all right, 6209. Oh, that was it already. I thought that was another location. Wow, well, there you go. So we started off in, in uh, Vienna. Actually, let's, let me read about these ones. Okay, so scroll all the way down. My God, you really made a lot of room for me to scroll down. You know... I mean, thank you for being considerate, but dude, Jesus, is this ever is this ever a lot of room? Uh, okay, so Vienna, Germany annexes Austria in 1938. Oh, so Austria was its own country. Oh, okay. Well, there goes some of the nonsense I was speaking. Goes away. Um, so Vienna, uh, so Germany just annexes Austria in 1938. It's like fuck it, Austria. They speak German in Austria, right? It's like fuck it, this is ours now. This this is this is my record. This is me giving a summary of early war World War Two, coming from a point of complete ignorance. Um. Then, uh, number two, uh, shortly after, uh, Germany annexing, uh, Austria. Cheb in the ethnic German, Sudetenland. Annex from Czech in 1939. Okay, well, let me rephrase that. Uh, then in that case, uh, Germany is like, well, okay, some of these parts of... Was it even Czechoslovakia at that point? I'm going to say it was, but I'm not entirely sure that it was. Um, but hey, yeah, I'm saying nonsense at this point, so might as well. Germany's like, hey, uh, you, know, uh, the, you know, a lot of uh, ethnic Germans over here. Uh, why don't we, uh, why don't we just go say that, uh, this is, uh, this is our land now, uh, says the Germans to this area over here. Sorry, I don't know why I zoomed in over there. Um, then, oh, fuck, probably shouldn't have done that. All right, next is Prague, uh, which we have, uh, Prague, of course, being part of the Czech Republic. Hitler takes the rest of Czech. Can you, you know... Neil Sylvanus, if you actually wrote the country that it was called in back then, that would be nice. Because then it, w it wouldn't have to leave me not knowing what to call it. Is it the Czech Republic? Is it Czechoslovakia? Is it just Czech? I doubt that it's just Czech. So I'm going to call it Czechoslovakia. Because I feel like Czechoslovakia was a name for a thing before the Czech Republic was the Czech Republic. And perhaps before Slovakia was just Slovakia as a country. So, I'm going to go with that. So, yeah. Says, uh, so, then you go, you get Germany, and, uh, they're like, uh, they're like, oh, okay, well, there's, like, a little piece of, uh, the Czech Republic that, uh, we're going to take, 
We're just gonna take a little piece of it, you know? It's just a little piece, and then... Oh, fuck, the whole thing! Jesus. Oh, there you go. Uh, then, uh, we've got Wylan, the first Polish city bombed by Germany, destroying 75% of the city and killing uh, 1,200 people. Allies declare war. Ah, okay, you see, there you go. So Britain's involvement did start with uh, the Polish, uh, the Germans uh, bombing this Polish city. Now, here's what I don't know. Was there really, did World War II just sort of start out of the blue with Germany just power hungry, making power hungry grabs, really just grabbing out? Was there really no, like, aggression that was countered? Like, like, Poland was just, like, not ready for this. They just kind of, like, were, like, fuck it. We're, we're going all out. We, we're, we're growing. I mean, you always hear, you know, you know, about Hitler wanting to, you know, take all of Europe. But really, there was, like, there was, like, nothing to start it. It was just, like, bang, Austria. Oh, hey, there's some German in, in Czech, in Czechoslovakia. Take that, fuck it. Whole thing. And, um... Then it was like, oh, let's just bomb Poland too. We're going for that. Wham, bam, bam. Like, not even... Like, you think... Well, I don't know. I mean, they almost... You know, they Germany came pretty close to winning the war, I think. Now, if they hadn't made some bad moves by sort of plunging all the people down into here and then, you know, uh, all of that, they, you know, they would have been in a lot better shape. So maybe it wasn't a crazy idea. You know, in my mind, I would think, okay, you know... Jeez, you just, like, doubled your country's size, man. Maybe, like, you know, like, cool it off for a bit before you start going more, but maybe it was... Uh, uh. See, again, ignorance here. And then, uh, Saarland Offensive. France got about as far as the Google car into Germany in a half-ass response to the invasion of Poland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, there you go. I mean, you know, <laughs> just just reading that, just reading that, it, it's it's just very funny because you know, you know the French, the French and the Americans, they for, for whatever reason, um, really seem to uh, really seem to. Well, I mean, uh, dislike each other on the opinions that uh, the old. Uh, Americans have on uh, France in in World War Two, you know, definitely leaving a, a sour note in uh, the mouth of the French people when it comes to Americans. They think like, oh, what a bunch of fucking assholes, always saying and this and that and this and that. And uh, our friend Neil Sylvanus, of course, uh, being from America, I can't help but read that and sort of laugh in my head, thinking, oh, this is exactly that. But you know, I'm sure there was no. None of that uh, sort of uh, intended there. France got about as far as the Google car into Germany in a half ass response to the invasion of Poland. And we all know what happens next. So there you go. Classic. <laughs> but I'm sure that, again, myself, I don't know shit about this, as has been made clear by this challenge. So here we are. Wow, wow, wow. 19785. Well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'm excited. Hey, make sure you uh, send me those follow-up challenges uh, because I, of course, want to be doing those uh, all about World War II. Nice. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat I'm gonna like, rate, comment and subscribe I love watching Aether vids all of the time Thanks for dropping by and spending the time Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives Oh yeah Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats Oh yeah Have a good one